Like for you to be jealous of someone, you admire something about them. And what I realize about jealousy is that whenever you're jealous of someone, your world becomes smaller. I would not say jealousy is normal to have because jealousy is not a fruit of the spirit. Bringing people to the kingdom through her channel. Why am I why am I jealous of that? Like Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Amaka. A M A K A A A. -A. Y'all already know. Y'all already know what's popping. Yeah, hey y'all. Hey, if you're new to my channel, welcome to the Open Up Your Heart channel. I hope you would love it here. Please make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, all of this good stuff. And let's get right into today's video. So today I was listening to an interview. Uh, someone was interviewing a pastor's wife, and then they got on the topic of jealousy. And jealousy is a topic that I've always wanted to talk about on my channel because I think it's very prevalent and um, jealousy and comparison go hand in hand. You thinking that someone else has their life better than where you want or like someone else has a season of your life in their life and then you start to treat them really bad because you're, you're just like, I really want what you have. And so today I'm just going to talk about ways to like overcome jealousy. It's going to be a short video, but... I think one of the major ways to overcome jealousy is celebrating people maybe you might be like what if i start to like you know celebrate this person but it's not genuine like i don't really mean it whatever like no you're training your heart to rise above mediocrity you're training your heart to rise to excellence you're challenging yourself you're calling your spirit your soul and your body to say hey we're gonna we're not gonna be jealous of this person because the bible actually says that we're not wise when we do that we're not wise when we compare ourselves we're not wise when we're when we're looking at someone and we're diminishing what the glory of god has put upon their lives no it's a win-win when my friend wins it's a win-win when my sister wins it's a win-win when my friend has a child and i don't it's a win-win because because that child is gonna grow up in a godly community that is gonna they're probably gonna be the next billy graham they're probably gonna be the next this like start to train your mind in such a way whereby it has no space for the enemy and the enemy will say you're a hypocrite but you understand that you're training your mind to rise above maybe you're like jealous of like you know maybe you're jealous of their lives right don't just start don't just stop at celebrating them but maybe your new friend or maybe your friend has a product that they're selling right maybe it's a book maybe it's a shirt maybe it's a slippers maybe it's earrings whatever be the first person to patronize patronize them patronize patronize i cannot speak hello whatever but be the first person to you know like sew into their lives right like maybe they started like a music whatever like be the first person to say hey yo i want to like give you like you know money to like buy some equipment or whatever like so into their lives don't just celebrate with words but celebrate with action and the more you put your body and your soul into it the more your flesh just is receptive to be like okay we cannot be jealous about this person we have to celebrate this person it's an action word it's a doing word let's say for example right like you know maybe you and your friend you guys started a musical band together then both of you separated and then this person is doing their own music and that person is doing their own music and then one your friend is flourishing in the music area you've taught them everything that they know and now they're just blown up right and then now you're really jealous of them and you're like oh my gosh like we started together all these things i would not say jealousy is normal to have because jealousy is not a fruit of the spirit right the enemy can put it in your heart and you'd be like oh my gosh like i'm jealous of this and that like celebrate them be the first person to plant a seed in their heart. Be the first person to say, hey, how can I serve you? How can I help you? How can I, how can I help your gifting go an extra mile? And what I realized about jealousy is that whenever you're jealous of someone, your world becomes smaller. Your world becomes smaller. You think like when you're jealous of someone, your world becomes bigger but actually becomes smaller because like you are only like noticing what this person is doing and you're only like trying to like backbite them or like bring them down and your spirit is down and people start to feel that thing and they like automatically start to be like i don't want to be around this person and you don't know it but it really does make your world smaller and you know you think you're doing a bad thing to them but you're actually doing something bad to yourself i think the next thing of how like you can overcome jealousy is 
learn from them right like a lot of the people who you're competing with you should be learning from them right and just like hey how do you do this like i've always wanted to do this thing you know but you're just so good at it like can you show me how you do that can you show me how you've got into this aspect like learn from them like ask them questions like how are you here like how do you do your youtube like how do you edit your videos like how do you i'm trying to think of everything how do you cook like how are you so clean how are you this like ask for tips right and like for sometimes you and sometimes you might be proud and just be like oh i don't want them to seem like blah 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 well it's your soul at stake your world is getting smaller the like from the day you start getting jealous of someone and you can't even look them in the eye and say this and that and ask them questions and maybe sometimes you might be shy of asking them questions be around them study them never admire quietly i think that's what this whole video is about like you like for you to be jealous of someone you admire something about them right you see something about them in your life that you want don't admire quietly like go up and say hey i really like this like hey i just love your energy like hey i just love that you have so many friends and you're so lovable like what is your secret like how do you do this like you know whatever like you know and just yeah i guess that's pretty much it like i really wanted to talk about this because like at least this year like i've gotten like certain messages of people using the word jealous and saying like this is how they used to be towards me and i've also been jealous of people as well and whenever i'm jealous of someone i would literally serve them to the end because i'm like yeah this has to get out of my lawn i want to share a quick story there's a girl who just recently she started youtube like let's say like eight months ago or so and she probably had youtube before but she wasn't really using it and then she started again and now she has like over 5,000 subscribers. She's a Christian YouTuber, everything. You know, when she started, and you know what I've realized? Like, God always calls both of us to almost the same assignment. Like, so many times I found myself comparing myself and being jealous of her. And now she started YouTube. And I'm like, I've been doing YouTube for like three years. I don't even have 1,000 subscribers. This girl has like five, over 5,000. And like this person just came on YouTube and she's just flourishing. Like her editing is on point. Like everything is just, I'm like, bro, what in the rigged is this? What is this riggedy? <laughs> rigged. And I was just like, man, this is so rigged, blah, 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 right? And then like two weeks ago, I realized that her channel like grew almost to like 10,000 subscribers. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like this is crazy. But the truth of the matter is she already has influence even outside of Insta of outside of YouTube even before i ever did and like she already has influence like in so many places and even if she didn't like the grace of god is different for every single person like not the grace of god as you think but like grace upon people's lives is different for everybody like maybe i'm just called to speak to 700 people maybe i'm just called to speak to a million people but this is not my season you know what i do i subscribed my notification is on i watch her videos i share her videos i comment i like i do everything in my power and i also try to learn from her right i learn from her of like okay like how does she edit this like how does she do this like how does she speak the biggest thing is she's authentic she's authentic she's a cheerleader she's just she's just real she's just so real to the core and she is not my competition i am my competition and it doesn't matter if i'm the person preaching the gospel through social media or not like she is also helping the kingdom she's bringing people to the kingdom through her channel why am i why am i jealous of that like the fruit of the spirit is joy is love it's 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 gentleness right like i should be joyful that someone else is preaching the gospel and my target audience is not her target audience do you see that when you start to really look at it and break it down it looks so foolish that you're like yo all i want to do is celebrate them all I want to do is see them win because their win is my win. But yeah, guys, this is pretty much it for today's video. I just really wanted to talk about that and just to uh, shift us back to the main focus. Like, you know, never admire quietly, like, you know, and just learn from people, hang around them, compliment them, serve them with your time, with your actions, with your finances, you know, compliment them and just hype, right? Celebrate. When you celebrate, you bring what you want closer to your life right like oh my gosh like i've been waiting to be pregnant or i've been waiting to have a husband or a wife or a boyfriend or a girlfriend or whatever like you being jealous of something you want in someone's life is not gonna bring it towards you right and even when you have it you wouldn't be able to appreciate it because you keep comparing yourself to everybody else right but when you celebrate you bring that closer to yourself so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video i would love to see some comments some likes and some shares I love you guys and I'll see you guys next week. Bye for now.
Open up your heart. Open up your heart.